For more than 40 years, Rocky Flats has been closed to the public. But starting today, anybody can walk onto the land around the former nuclear weapons site. The buffer around that facility opened today as a wildlife refuge, but not without controversy. Our Michael Abeda was there for the official opening, and he joins us from the trailhead. Michael? Yeah, Kathy, well, there wasn't much official about it. All of a sudden, it was just open. There was no pomp and no circumstance after years of debate about whether it's safe for the public to be here. The last remnants of the Rocky Flats plant in Colorado came down with a bang. But the Rocky Flats Wildlife Refuge opened with a whisper. At 10 a.m. Saturday, the west gate remained locked. Here we are. Can't find the trail. Just a closed gate. Eventually, everyone found their way to the northern gate, which was unlocked and ready for visitors. It is a special, special treat. Well, there's more going on than what it looks like and definitely than what the signs say. Even protesters who hoped this day would never come. We're worried that people are going to think that this is a wildlife refuge and not a nuclear super fun buffer zone like it really is. But there's been so much testing going on for years, and uh, hopefully, we can get it right. There were also plenty who came out to enjoy the natural beauty and sunny day. Daryl Hobson and his wife decided to come out Saturday morning to check out the area which for so long was off limits. I think it's marvelous. It's open space, big open space close to the metropolitan area. It'll give us an access to the wildlife that we don't have easy access to. And while he enjoyed, those who wish this area was still closed hung around to remind people of this area's troubled history. A lot of people from Colorado kind of know about it, but so many people moving from out of state have no idea. Now, the opening was delayed Friday afternoon for a couple of hours, and then it was reinstated. The people who don't want this place open say that gave them hope that their message is being heard by the people in the federal government. At Rocky Flats, Michael Aveta, covering Colorado First. Thank you, Michael.